Welcome to clickmyproject.com Now we discuss about the product Object Oriented Shadow Reduction and Removal from Urban High Resolution Remote Sensing Images Now we discuss the abstract for the process In accordance with the characteristics of Urban High Resolution Color Remote Sensing Images We put forward an Object Oriented Shadow Detection and Removal Method in this method, shadow features are taken into consideration during the image segmentation and then according to feature of images and then suspected shadows are extracted. Furthermore, some drawbacks are dark objects which could be mistaken for shadows are ruled out according to the object properties and spatial relationship between the objects. For the shadow removal, we use the IOPL matching is used. The IOPL is abbreviated as an inner and outer line profile. At first, the IOPL is obtained due to the boundaries of the shadows obtained in the image. Shadow removal is then performed according to the homogeneous section attained through IOPL similarity matching. Experiment shows that the new method can accurately detect shadows from urban high resolution remote sensing images and can be effectively restore shadows with the rate of over 85 percentage accuracy now we discuss the flow diagram for the process at first the start is available in start we can get an image from the data set then the data set image can you can be read in the matlab and then the pre-processing is carried out after the image is getting from the data set. In the pre-processing, we have to resize the image into an optimum size and the grayscale conversion if needed. Then the filtering is undertaken using the Gaussian filter. The filter is the process used to remove the noise from the image. Then the edge detection is carried out using the canny edge method. After the pre-processing, the shadow feature extraction is carried out. In the shadow feature extraction, the shadow histogram peak value level and the threshold value will be gathered from the pre-processed image. After the shadow feature extracted from the image, the segmentation is carried out. In the segmentation, the shadow region only segmented and the other backgrounds are eliminated. Then the blob of the segmented shadows are detected so that the shadow detection is used. Then the false shadow elimination is used to eliminate the shadows which is similar to the shadow regions. Then IOPL boundary extraction is undertaken after the false shadow elimination in that the inner and outer layer of the image will be extracted. Then the IOPL matching is done after the boundary extracted using IOPL. Then shadow removal using RRN and PF. The RRN is abbreviated as an relative radiometric normalization and the PF is abbreviated as an polynomial fitting. Then the output image which is came out from the RRN and PF will be the shadow free image. Now we discuss about the initial running procedure for the process. At first, select the main underscore gui.m file and right click in that file and select the third option run. Now the initial guy window was opened. In that you can see the several buttons. These are known as the push buttons. These two are represented as an axis. Now click the button like the folder icon. Now the dataset folder will be open in the name of image. Select the image and
select the image from the image file now the selected image file will be shown in the axis 1 with the title original image then select the button pre-processing after clicking the button pre-processing the pre-processed image will shown in the axis 2 with the title filtered image in the filtering process the noise is removed in the image then click the button segmentation after clicking the button segmentation first initial binary conversion is done and then the segmented result is shown in the axis 2 then select the third button scale space in the scale space the image is again segmented use the scale space method the scale space method segmentation is the binary segmentation then click the button shadow detection after the shadow detection the suspected shadow is detected and the detected shadow image will be in the binary format the binary image is displayed in the axis 2 with the title shadow detection then click the button shadow elimination after clicking the button shadow elimination the false shadow will be ruled out and the only the shadow region will be displayed with the title of false shadow elimination then click the button boundary extraction after clicking the button boundary extraction the suspected shadow region only extracted and the extracted shadow region will be boundary is drawn as a green color contour segmentation then click the button inner and outer in inner and outer there are three different channels are plotted and the plotted region is shown then click the button IOPL then one new guy will be open for the IOPL matching then click the button IOPL the IOPL matching for the images will be shown in the graph format then click the button shadow removal after clicking the button shadow removal the shadow removed image will be shown in the axis 2 then click the button graphs after clicking the button graphs the accuracy of the existing method and the proposed method will be shown as the bar chart the first one represent the proposed method accuracy and the second one represent the existing method accuracy